people of the Purple Butterfly here, otherwise known as people of seven on Twitter and YouTube, people of elsewhere on the internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com, and my socials can be purchased at people.etsy.com, and is ready. Challenge accepted, and fulfilled. My tiger strike. And it's hard enough to cut. Yes, yes. So, let's get it cutting, shall we? Got a real interesting look on the side. Can't wait to see what it looks like on the inside. So. Let's get this first slice out the way. Oh, that's interesting. That's what this one's looking like. Wow. Look at that. Someone told me just pouring soap colors in the corner would have gave me this. I would have been doing it the whole time. Because <laughs> that's really, really neat. Alrighty then. Let's... I got a paper towel here to catch it for when it tilts. Because, well, anytime you have a soap that is larger than your cutting board, you might get tilted which is kind of fitting for this particular soap, seeing how it's called the Tilted Tiger Stripe. <whistles> and here I thought they were all going to look alike because the technique, but apparently they all look a little different. So, let's continue on. Oh, the top is called a feathered mantra top so that you look at that too. Well that's interesting. I love it. I just absolutely love it. For some reason, the beige or the natural color of soap showed up white, which is real surprising because, you know, the combination of oils I use, that's usually a beige soap. But I ain't complaining. It's really neat. There's that one. And that side. Really, really neat. Alrighty then. And I got these stacked rather close together because even though these four pound logs are not going to make a whole lot of soap, I only have the one curing box, so they all got to fit. <laughs> And it smells like lavender sage, but not in your face lavender sage. It's not too strong, it's not too wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. It's lavender sage, it is one of my favorite scents, but lavender is a strong scent, sage is a strong scent. They both have a tendency to go, you know, and we put two strong scents together. You wouldn't know with something that could be overpowering. So I cut back a little bit on it. And the little purple pieces from the Magic Valley is showing up as specks. That's fine. You know, that'll just give it more character. As long as it don't go bleeding pieces of purple all over people's skin, it's all good. Which it can't do because it's suspended in soap. 
Alrighty then, let's see what else we're going to get. There are some variations from bar to bar. And then, of course, the top looks like that, so it's just kind of cool all over. Actually, look at the bottom. Is that cool or what? Alrighty then. Let's see what else we're going to get. Well, first, let's put this over so it's easy to work with. And... A friend of mine goes, oh, that's really pretty. I can't wait to see the video. I was going to say, how you know there's going to be a video? But, you know, she knows me. <laughs> okay. Now, this little piece of purple pigment, I might try to see if I can scrape that off. But I've discovered between micas and pigments, I prefer micas. You know, when they dissolve in the oil and suspend itself in the color, it does it nice and even. There's no, hey, surprise speckle right here. You know, but pigments don't do that. You know, and I stick blended that, so you would think that would be a non-issue. Wow. Okay, that's this side. Look at this side. Even the sides are doing something fun. And, of course, the bottom and the top. I have a sneeze that's trying to escape that I'm not letting escape, so this is about to get real interesting real quick if I don't get this finished cutting before the sneeze happens. I mean, I've already burped on camera. I was left. <laughs> but I'm not trying to blow a bunch of chunks at you, so <laughs> I crack me up. You know what? <laughs> Oh, wow. Let's get these last couple of pieces light up, shall we? Okay. The other side of this is doing something a little different. Is that neat or what? It looks like a fish is swimming through there. And then the top, you know. And the last piece. That's the end piece. Which looks really different from the other side, doesn't it? And then we have this piece. And that's my Tilted Tiger Stripe Challenge Soap. I'm glad I accepted the challenge. I will be trying this method again. Um, because of the shape of my mold, uh, most people are doing this in a tall, narrow, and that's making the stripe anchor at the bottom. And mine, because it's in a, you know, standard square, is doing a completely across the thing. Either way, gorgeous look. I will be trying it in the tall narrow next to see what comes of it. But in the meantime, let's cut the samples. Because I am real sure somebody's going to say, ooh, I want to try that. And this will give them something to try that with. Yep, yeah. So those are my samples. Let me separate that out because soaps tend to 
stay together permanently if you let them. Oh, look how they look on their side. But if you let soap that you freshly cut stay together, then they stay permanent. And then it's really, really interesting trying to get them separated. So. This was actually the second scent I ever used. And it's a scent that people kind of associate with soap. You know, not intentionally. It's just a lot of soaps have that lavender, citrusy, or sagey type thing. So when you think vintage soap, this is the scent that might enter your head. Let's finish up these samples. Translation in pieces. That are already trying to stick together, so let's get these separated right quick. I kind of thought that the smell of the bamboo and white grapefruit candle would conflict with me cutting this, but it's like ambient background scent and then the main scent, so there's no conflict, but I'm finding it rather interesting. All my favorite scents are married together in one room because my hair smells like peppermint. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's get this done so I can get the video out so folks can see it because people have already said, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. So, there we have the sample pieces and the slice pieces of the Lavender Sage Tilted Tiger Stripe. I'm just going to call it the Tilted Tiger. Because, well, it's tilted and it's a tiger stripe. And it's really, really pretty. And it's one of my favorite scents. And I'm thinking, since I do intend to try this again, I'm going to try it with the same scent, even if I use different colors. That way, this will be synonymous with, you know, lavender sage. In the meantime, Okay, I use palm oil, coconut oil, canola, and grapeseed oil, and that gives me kind of a waxy finish, which is desirable in soap because it makes a hard bar that will last for a lot of time, but it makes cleanup a little bit challenging because it wants to be a little waxy. So in the meantime, I'm going to go clean this up, post these soaps. I'm going to take pictures of them after they've had, oh, say, about 10 minutes to just rest in their new format. So that way they're not doing the, oh, let me will, let me mush thing. So be on the lookout for that on my blog and on my Facebook. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy. Stay blessed, stay tuned, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye now. And go to peopla.etsy.com to see what I have currently in inventory. And my blog, of course, is located at purplebutterfly-peopla.blogspot.com. Bye now.